In early March, Google created a lot of hype around Flutter 2. A lot of the marketing content simply said Flutter is great and Flutter is widely used. It also focused on the wide use of Flutter on different types of devices, including web, mobile, and desktop. The most interesting information to me was about Dart. Buried in announcement is Google's position that Dart is one of the fastest growing languages on GitHub. The Google blog lists to a GitHub Pages report by a private individual. It shows that Dart is ranked as the 13th most popular language ahead of Rust, Kotlin, and Swift. How can this be? I noticed that the site was tracking pull requests on GitHub, so I switched it to pushes. The numbers are slightly different. It does show that Dart is still growing faster than Swift and Kotlin. The rate of growth of Dart was what was asserted in the Google blog, not the specific ranking. Switching the statistical view still indicates that Dart is growing faster than the other languages. This site also has other types of data that you can look at. I went to the GitHub repository for the actual code producing the site. It's using Google BigQuery on a public data set. The search algorithm is also provided. The results look valid and would stand up to peer review. After looking at the results, they seem valid. Why is Dart popular? The Google announcement on their blog provides some clues. I use Dart every day. I like it. I like Dart, I like Flutter, I use it every day in the real world. And I use it because I like it and I choose to use it. However, what's it like using it? Well, there's actually a, quite a bit of surprises on mobile, web, and desktop. Probably in this order, um, mobile being the most stable. You're gonna have some surprises on web because not all the packages are working on the web and even more surprises on the desktop. It's gonna need a bit of work before your mobile application can run with no modifications on both web and desktop. If the application is simple, you can start off using it on mobile or web and keep testing it on all three platforms. And yes, I do build applications that runs completely fine on mobile, web, and desktop in production. So it is possible to do it, but you're going to have to actually, in the real world, be prepared for these surprises. The iterative development process, hot reload and hot restart, they actually are great. They actually do work on most IDEs. It might take a little fiddling to get working on some IDEs from time to time when they update Flutter. But in general, this thing is fantastic. Uh, you don't have to compile it. If you're coming from Java, or even JavaScript for some certain types of application workflows, uh, you're really, and you go to Dart, you'll really like it. Google Class Performance, it is fantastic that Google is behind Dart and Flutter. It's one of the reasons that there is so much support for it. And I think it's a massive contribution to the ecosystem. However, they did make a bit of a hype around sound null safety. It does exist in Dart 2.12, you can get it to work. Not all the packages have sound null safety support. So your full application may not have sound null safety support. The portions of the code that you're using and the major libraries currently have sound null safety support, but it's still a bit early. So to take advantages of all these new features with Dart and Flutter, it, it may take a bit of work and a bit of time. The bottom line is that Dart likely is growing faster than Kotlin and Swift, just a little bit faster. The question is why? Uh, there's no inherent advantage to the Dart language itself. The Dart language is relatively simple. It has a decent feature set, but there's nothing that radically great about it in general. It's just the general ecosystem and the workflow for Dart and Flutter that is great. Flutter 2.0, I think it covered the, the major benefits of Flutter, the, the platform support, the hot reload. 
I do think it was a little overhyped, a little bit too much marketing hype in there. But Flutter itself, Flutter 2.0 is great. And I think that the points that they did raise in time, they'll be fantastic. Flutter and Dart, they're free. They're supported by Google. I would give it a thumbs up and suggest that you give it a try.